what else is out there to protect your wallet. I'm Clark Howard. We've got some new video to show you tonight from an Eyewitness 7 reporter. Take a look at this. This dash camera video shows the moment a car crashed on I-675. This is in Washington Township. Watch the middle of your screen. The white car starts to swerve and then it crosses over two lanes of traffic and then spins out. Yikes. People in there just listen to their music. Well, we just reached out to dispatchers and we're told, despite what you just saw, nobody got hurt. And now, your Storm Center 7 forecast with meteorologist Robert Cotro III. I tell you, it has been nice to see the sun today. I think so. After yeah. the last, I don't know, couple, what, Fridays? We were talking about that earlier. I know. Last Friday was the last dry Friday since like early April. I want to say April 7th. So well, we went a whole month without a dry Friday. And then we had that stretch last fall of mm -hmm. all football Fridays. That's all true. Dry. I forgot about that. It's crazy because I've worked here for so long and I remember all these football games that were just drenched. Yeah. And to have a season that was dry, I couldn't believe it. I don't know why Ohio is sticking out with Fridays, but we're back to, I guess, quote unquote normal this Friday because there is the chance for rain. So yeah. the last dry Friday. Friday was just a few days ago. So far, we've had about 18 Fridays, four of which, including last Friday, have been dry, where at least a trace of rain was not observed. And so as we move into this Friday, it looks like we'll have another chance for rain. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be a washout, but so far, Fridays of this year, if you add all the rain together, we're up to about five and a half inches. That's almost double any other day of the week. Not quite, but almost there. So yeah, it's certainly been pretty wet. Not so much this evening, though. We're looking at beautiful clear sky outside in downtown Dayton. It's a little mild as well, 57 degrees. Winds are out of the north-northeast around 6 miles per hour. So there is a slight northerly component to the wind. That's going to help temperatures drop probably a little bit cooler tonight than where they were this morning. This morning we dropped down in the mid-50s. We're probably going to drop into the upper 40s across much of the Miami Valley tonight. Right now, 57 in Dayton. You can see most of us still hanging on to the 50s. Even old Richmond over here is hanging on to 50, but she'll be in the 40s soon enough. In fact, you can see here in Dayton, temperatures dropping to the upper 40s a little bit before sunrise tomorrow. So again, a little bit cooler, but then into tomorrow, we're back in the mid 70s. And I mean, it's barely above average, but that is the trend. We're going to be above average as far as temperatures are concerned into the week because Toward the end of April and really the beginning of May, temperatures were below average. And we're looking at some clear skies. That's going to help the temperatures drop a little bit as well. Not just Ohio, but much of the Midwest, including Michigan. And even as you head into New England, from basically Indiana to Maine, we're looking at some clear skies at the moment. It's been a little bit active in southeastern Kansas as well as Missouri. And we're looking at some weather there. A lot of tropical moisture heading into the Gulf Coast of Texas and Louisiana. But no moisture for us, no humidity. You can see heading into Wednesday morning, things are looking pretty clear. So it should be nice tomorrow morning for your commute, as well as tomorrow afternoon looking pretty good. Here's a look at 3 o'clock, mainly clear skies. Thursday as well looking quiet. You can see a few clouds kind of coming in Thursday. And especially, I'd say, Thursday evening, an increase in cloud cover leading into Kind of a wet Friday. You can see the seven-day forecast here. Temperatures climbing up to about 80 degrees Thursday. Now, the last time we hit the 80s was April 20th. We hit 83 degrees. So it's been a little while since we've actually been in the 80s as well. Now, that is above average, but, you know, it's been very, very cool, it seems like, the last several weeks. Now, as we head into Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we're looking at the chance for some showers and storms. I would say Friday, there's the chance of a few storms. Not all day Saturday, necessarily. Some of these computer models have been going back and forth, but Chief Meteorologist McCall Vrydags and I were discussing the forecast earlier, and it looks like the best chance of rain on Saturdays, mainly in the morning hours, that could change a little bit. It's still about four days out, so we'll have to see, but we definitely do expect at least some rain on Saturday. And then on Sunday as well, there's a chance for an isolated storm there. As we head into Monday and Tuesday, it's looking a little bit drier with more sunshine and cooler, too, with highs likely avoiding the 70s by Monday. The issue here is to balance things or catching with the problem of overdiagnosis and over.